Hello YouTube and welcome to our next comparison video. We got here two iPhone 5s, black version, white version. Which version should you get? Of course is it, you get this with the version you like the most. But uh, just to give you a quick tour around on the front side, they both actually look like bigger iPhone 4 and 4s's. Except on the white version you can see the, the lightning sensor here. Uh, the brightness sensor, let's call it this way. And of course you see the speaker and the camera, the front camera, a lot easier than on the on the black one. The black one is just one black surface. Um, the sides, of course, aluminium, matte black aluminium here and silver aluminium on the white version. Um, this is actually a, uh, the first black iPhone 5 I got without any scratches or production marks. And keep in mind, if you get a scratch in, in the surface here, the scratch will shine white or at least silver. So you will see those scratches. Here, the bright silver white scratches, no problems. They are there, of course, but you won't recognize them as easy as on the black version. Um, second thing, fingerprints. Uh, they are both really messed up here, fingerprints all over them, but you can easily see them on the black surface and even on the matte alum black aluminium surface here. The grease and all the stuff on the white version, no chance. They are there, but you won't notice them that easily. Um, yeah, what else, of course. Silver, silver frame, black frame here. Um, and third thing you have to keep in mind is that there are a lot of apps that are not yet uh, updated for the larger iPhone 5 for inch screen. And you get this black borders here on top and on the button. On the white version you always will see those black boxes unless you are watching a black uh, a, a movie with, with a black back, uh, black background. Um, and on the black version you won't recognize those black borders here, those frames, um, because there's no, you can't um, uh, see them with the black, uh, with the black iPhone surface and frames here. So this is the third thing you have to keep in mind. Of course go with the version you like best but overall um, the apps will get updates of course for the larger screen and then um, and even before that I still recommend the white iPhone. So that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.